this is our second uh, clinic on closing skills. Um, for those of you who were here uh, last week, I covered you know, the five major things that you need to accomplish in order to close a deal. Right? I started with trial closing, negotiating, overcoming objections, getting agreement, and the exchange. Okay? Uh, can anyone tell me what trial closing is? Again, yeah. Trial closing. Yes, on some agreement along the way. Well, not necessarily. Yeah, to, to an extent, you're right. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more? Well, if I'm doing a presentation and I've covered a point, then I can ask the question, some sort of question where I get feedback. Right. The and yes. Okay, so, so, so think of trial closing as this here, right? Perfect. You, well, not necessarily. Let's say you're starting here, right? And this is your finish, right? And let's say there are many possible roads that you can take. Some of them may be detours, but there's only one road that will get you to your finish line, right? How do you know that you are on the right track? And let's assume that this is your presentation. How do you know that you are on the right track to get to your finish line, right? How do you know that? The only way you know that is by asking trial questions, right? Trial closing questions. Those trial closing questions are such as, so, uh, Jeff, based upon what I just covered, do you see how that might be a good fit for your need? Right? right. Or, um, Aurora, yeah. uh, if you were to get started with this today, what is the insurance that you would be going with? Or, uh, considering the size of the TV, where would you be putting this in your place? The purpose of the trial close is to begin to get them to take ownership of the product, okay? But the only way that you know, because the only way that you're going to get an agreement is if they mentally have accepted ownership of that product, right? That's the only way you're going to get agreement. But how do you know along the way if you're on the right track if you don't ask trial closing questions, right? If you wait until you finish your presentation, to ask a trial closing question, you may find out that you hit a detour way back along the way, and now you have to backtrack in order to make that up. Make sense? Yeah. So, so keep, keep that in perspective. OK, so negotiating. What's the fundamental? Uh, what are we trying to accomplish when we negotiate? Well, not necessarily, right? Because well, first of all, you can't close until you get an agreement, right? Closing is impossible without first getting an agreement. You guys agree to that? But you already got the agreement in trial closing, you already know that you No, 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 not necessarily. The trial closing is not necessarily where you get the full agreement to the order. You get in partial agreements because remember, when you are doing your presentation, what are you presenting? Features and benefits. Features and benefits, features and benefits, features and benefits. Your trial closing should happen after every feature. So you are getting agreement, but you're getting a minor agreement on the feature. Right? right? right. Make sense? Yes. So for example, let's say that you have five features that you want to cover in your presentation. Right? Five features that you want to cover in your presentation. Right? You are going to do a trial close after every feature because you're stating a feature and a benefit. You're stating a feature, benefit, trial close. Feature, benefit, trial close. Feature, benefit, trial close. Why? Because if you don't trial close after every feature, you're not getting what they call buy-in. Right? And that's your agreement. But you're getting buy-in on the individual features. Let me give you an example. Okay? Uh, let's say that I am selling big screen TVs, okay? And three features that I know that my prospect, Aurora, wants is she wants a big screen TV. She wants a, the largest one that we have. But she also wants one that's a smart TV, right? And she also wants one that uh, is curved. So those are the three features that she's looking for, right? So I'm going to show her a number of different TVs, but let's say I settle on the right TV. So Aurora, um, you said that you were looking for a TV that was 70 inches, right? Why do you need a 70 inch TV? It just fits my room. <laughs> okay, it does fit your room. Okay, so 
Uh, is this size the type of a size that you're looking for? I guess so. Okay. So now what did I just do? I'm trial closing, right? Because I'm getting her to begin to accept ownership of the product. Second one. Okay. So uh, this is our TV. It's a smart screen TV, right? I'm going to take her through some of the features. I'm going to let her punch some of the buttons on the smart screen TV. So you see how easy that TV is to negotiate or to navigate, right? right? Does this fit what you were looking for? Right, so that's my second trial close, right? My third trial close would be the other one. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm getting her to take, begin to take mental ownership of the, of the product, right. right? Because if she has an objection, where do you think the objection is going to come? When I'm done with my product or when I'm asking her the questions about her opinion about that feature? Yes, questions. Doing the questions, right? That's when it's going to happen. Make sense? So the trial close is very important because it allows for you to get some agreement, but they're minor agreements. They're not a major agreement. I'm not asking them to buy just yet. What I'm asking them to do is uh, give me a yes or no or some type of indication that that feature that I'm discussing right now fits their needs. And I'm not asking them to give me a decision on all of them. I'm asking them to give me a decision on one at a time. Make sense? So. I gave you guys an assignment last week. If you haven't wrote down all the major features of your product and know the benefits of your product, okay, you're going in, um, you're taking a knife to a gunfight, as they say, right? You're not prepared for that. Because let's say that you have 10 features, but there's only five features that are important to me. So you're going to overemphasize those five features. You're not going to mention the other features because they're not of concern to me. Mm -hmm. So you're going to overemphasize those five features that are important to me, right? And you need to be able to know the benefit of those features as they relate to my needs. So trial closing. Negotiating. The purpose of negotiate is to position the deal in such a way that you get what you want in exchange the buyer gets what they want. Many times that may mean that if I am here and the buyer is here, then I may need to take a couple of steps forward. They may need to take a couple of steps forward. I may need to take a half step backwards, right? So we have to get to a point where there's mutual consideration. If I am unwilling to adjust price, if I'm unwilling to adjust terms, if I'm unwilling to adjust conditions, it's either a yes or no from my product buyer. Are they going to buy based upon those conditions or do I negotiate to if I'm giving something to get something in return? Make sense? Anybody have any questions on that? So that's what negotiating is. Mm -hmm.